Gary Bailey has been with the Supersport brand for 23 years. And as they say in the classics, back in the good old days, Gary began his broadcasting career anchoring football on the channel. Live football on Saturday afternoons and magazine shows such as On The Ball. Hi, welcome to On The Ball. As usual, lots so much to talk about, lots to chat. Uh, We've separated Gary Bailey and Ida Peterside by Andre Orenser in the middle. Gary, welcome. It's been a long yeah, time since been. you've been on Monday yeah. Night Football. Delighted to be here. Before life as a football analyst, Gary, who was born in Ipswich, England, grew up in South Africa and started his career with Wits University in Johannesburg. In the late 1970s, Gary paid his own fare to Manchester for a trial with the club and he established himself as the Manchester United number one choice goalkeeper in the late 1970s, following the retirement of the legendary Alex Stepney. Brilliant save by Bailey. Fantastic goalkeeping. And Gatting is in. Good save by Bailey. Robinson, good save again. He made his debut for the club at the tender age of 20 on the 18th of November 1978 against Ipswich Town, a team his father Roy had kept goal for during his own career. In total, Gary made 375 appearances for the Red Devils and during his time with Manchester United, he won FA Cup medals in 1983 and in 1985. Gary also represented the England national team at senior level, making his debut against the Republic of Ireland on the 26th of March 1985, following that appearance up with another one against Mexico later in the year. During training for the 1986 FIFA World Cup, Gary developed a serious knee injury and missed most of the 86-87 season, after which he retired and returned to South Africa where he subsequently resumed his career with Kaiser Chiefs before retiring from football in 1990. Gary was an instantaneous hit with local sports media, fast becoming a well-known radio presenter on Talk Radio 702 and commencing his broadcast career on local television. The deal was on Sunday when Liverpool played Man United, that I was supporting United, he's Liverpool, the loser would have to wear the opponent's jersey. So he bought his Liverpool shirt along, I bought my United shirt, we won 2-1, he gets to wear the jersey. Gary was an ambassador in South Africa's successful bid to host the 2010 FIFA World Cup. These days, Gary is a much sought after motivational speaker. And Monday Night Football and Supersport want to wish Gary all the best with his new life in the United States as he sets his sights on new horizons with his wife Michelle, children Lara, Jenna and Ross, and Michelle's son Luke. Gary, you will be sorely missed by everybody at Supersport and here on Monday Night Football.